Welcome to AITrillion.com. In this video, I'll be explaining how to set up web push notifications. Web push is basically a notification message that appears on the desktop or mobile of your customers, even when they are not in your store. You can send welcome push, manual push, abandoned cart push, schedule push, and we also have reports for the push campaigns that you have sent to your customers. Let's start with manual push notification. You can send customized push notification from here. In the top right corner, you can see total push campaign send, the total number of subscribers, push delivered, and revenue generated with the campaign you have sent. You can compose your own message from here. Enter a URL where you want your customers to be redirected when they click anywhere on this push notification. Call to action button is optional here. If clicked on to call to action button, your customer will basically be redirected to the URL entered below. You can add a maximum of two calls to action buttons. You can choose your message icon from the library or upload one of your choices. If you want to include an image, then you can add a big banner here. This is how it will look like. Let's move to welcome push. As soon as the new visitor visits your website, AI Trillion will automatically onboard your customer by sending them a welcome push. This is how it will look like. As discussed, you can update and design your push message from these settings on the left side. This was all about the welcome push notifications. Moving forward to the abandoned cart push notifications, you can automatically send abandoned cart push to customers how have edited a product in the cart and left without checkout. You can also schedule three different abandoned cart notifications on three different time intervals. Let's start by modifying the first one. This push notification will be sent after five minutes the cart abandoned. As discussed, update and design the settings from here. Now, from here you can choose the time interval for sending the push notification. Like, when you want to send it, after five minutes, ten minutes, and after one hour, of any of these. Like, we have modified this notification. You can modify the rest to and schedule, like the same. This is how it will look like the image of the product, which they have left in the cart, will be automatically generated for every push. Save the settings to active abandoned cart push notification. Moving to schedule push. With schedule push, you can auto schedule the notification that you do not have to send manually over and over again. For example, if you want to send predefined offers to your customers, say on the 15th of every month, then simply you will have to see the setting once and it will send every month of 15th. The process of composing schedule push is similar to manual push notification. Either you can send it immediately or schedule it for a particular day, date or time. Now with boost feature, you can set your push. If you want, it is no repeat. Repeat after 24 hours. Repeat daily, repeat weekly, or monthly. Also you can set time zone, from here. This how, it will look like. Now we have push widgets. First, we have browse prompt. So you can customize the content, of the opt-in box of push notification, from here. Lastly, we have as a report. In the report, you can take a glance, at all the real-time campaigns, that you have created like where it was created, how many pushes is sent or click.